and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man. We've beaten all six Robot Masters, and now we're going after Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. Stylized to look like Albert Einstein if he went insane and tried to take over the world, was once a friend and colleague to Dr. Light, the creator of Mega Man. Dr. Wily wanted fame and recognition for his part in helping make Robot Masters and make Light Labs so popular and famous. He didn't get any of the credit, unfortunately. Dr. Light received all the credit. And out of jealousy, Dr. Wily broke into Light Labs one night, reprogrammed the six Robot Masters, leaving behind Rock and Roll, two helper robots created by Dr. Light to help out, you know, lab stuff around the office, and went on a rampage to try and take over the world. One of these two helper robots, by the name of Rock Light, decided that he didn't like that, and requested that Dr. Light reprogram him and weaponize him into making him a super fighting robot that we now know as Mega Man. And there's your little not so super well told history lesson on the story of Mega Man. Let's talk a little bit about what we're actually seeing on the screen. Basically, we're going through Wily Castle, the very first one. I believe this first one isn't actually a Skull Castle, like the letter ones in the series. This one is just a base of operations. So, you know, that's that's cool. Guess Dr. Wily didn't go crazy enough to try and brand his own madness yet, so, you know, whatever. Wily 1 is... It's pretty difficult, you know? Um, new concepts are going to come up in this level that um, we haven't seen yet. You have to use the um, Ice Slasher to get through those fire pillars in the beginning. You have to get through those three big eyes. Just enough big eyes to kill you. This section here is a repeat of Magnet Man stage. I mean, Magnet Man stage of Magnet Man 3. Of Ice Man's stage from earlier with the turrets and everything. This bit, this bit you need the magnet beam form. If you don't have the magnet beam right now for this, then you have to kill yourself, go back to the robot selection screen, go after a lech man, and get the magnet beam, or else you won't be able to beat the game. This is what I meant when I said you wouldn't be able to beat the game. But right after that screen that's impossible to get through unless you have the magnet beam, you get to the boss. So, all right, boss time. Who is our boss? Is it Dr. Wily already? Huh? Come on, where are you, Wily? There isn't anything. Oh, sh oh, jeez. Oh, no. That's not good. This is the Yellow Devil. The original Yellow Devil. He forms himself, you know, goes from left to right really, really quick. Always in a set pattern, so you can get the pattern. You will be able to not get hit, I say, as I got hit twice. But, although, you will see now that I don't get hit ever again. I hope I'm right. I think I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. From this point on, I don't get hit again by the Yellow Devil. Um, he goes from left to right. He goes really quickly. Again, it's always in a set pattern, so it's not really that difficult once you memorize the pattern. But until you do, this is almost impossible because of how fast he goes. After he finished forming on one side of the screen or the other, the eye will pop out somewhere, whether up on top, below, or in the middle, and will shoot at you. All you have to do is shoot back at it with the Elect Beam or the Mega Buster, so, you know. There you go. That's all there is to it. Actually, right after you beat the Yellow Devil, I'm gonna show off the, um... The pause trick. <laughs> yeah, I know about the pause trick. And... You'll see that in a second. Until then, though... Boom! He's dead. Alright. Down goes the Yellow Devil. Again, not that difficult if you know what his pattern is. It takes some memorization, though, and some trial and error. So until then, he is going to be a really, really, really tough boss to beat, but you'll get it. Anyway, now that we've beaten him the official technical way, before we move on to Wily 2, we are going to do the pause trick. So, here we go. And... He's coming, there we go, all the pieces are in place. It's pretty difficult the uh, the first run, when uh, you don't see where the pieces are forming from. <clears throat> it's pretty difficult to explain, but but you you, you, you see this? You, you know where pieces are coming out of his body to go to the other side of the screen, so it's pretty easy to determine when you should jump and when you shouldn't jump. Oh, here's the pause trick. Oh, 
boom, 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 boom. Basically, I press select many, many times, and the elect beam registers. It's hitting the yellow devil again and again and again and again and again until he's dead. And that's, that's all it is. It's, uh, yeah. So, yellow devil. Pretty tough, but once you get used to him, he's, he's not that tough. Okay, Wily 2. And something about Dr. Wily's stages. You're used to, in all the other stages of Mega Man, um, every time you start a new stage, your health and your weapon energy would be refilled up to its full potential at, again. And in Wily stages, not, uh, whoop. That's weird. That was Cutman again. I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, you just saw there, a weapon energy from the first level. It is still low. So, you know, Wily stages are going to force you to conserve, conserve, conserve. You, you're going to get full health back at the beginning of every stage. You're not going to get your weapon energy back. So, you have to be careful how much you use, when you use it, who do you use it against. But yeah, we just saw Cutman there, and, and whoop. Cutman and a Leg Man. Okay, well, wow, that's all right. So that's another thing about original Mega Man. Um, the bosses are back to fight you. They're back in every game to fight you at the end in a boss teleporter room. But um, in the original Mega Man, they just pop up in certain parts of the stage. In Wily 2, you have to fight Cutman and a Leg Man. In Cutman's rematch, you aren't going to have the uh, Gutsman blocks, so you're going to have to use the Mega Buster, which again isn't that bad because. Cutman is allergic to the Mega Buster, basically. And I like Man, a little bit tougher, but hopefully you'll have your rolling cutter handy. So, you know, not that bad. The other four robots we're gonna fight later on in the castle stages. Ooh, look at that. All that weapon energy I just got back. Which means I can use that weapon energy there to refill my magnet beam, which is gonna be super useful to have. Again. In Wily Castles, you gotta conserve, conserve, conserve your weapon energy. Because you never know when you're gonna have to use it, who you gotta use it against, or if you're gonna get it back. This is more true with the earlier Wily Castles, because in some of the later ones, they get pretty... They're, they're pretty nice at giving you back your weapon energy, but in this first one, they're pretty pretty picky. You're gonna wanna go in here with Firestorm. This boss is also weak to Elect Beam and the Thunder Bomb, but Firestorm is the best one. And... Here he comes, this copy machine, and there he is, copy robot. Okay, copy robot. He is going to be able to copy any of your weapons and use them against you. Um, again, Firestorm is his best weakness, although Thunderbomb and Elect Beam also work, but Firestorm is the best one, because if he gets too close, that shield that you do will knock him back and get him to back off for a bit. Uh, he will copy any weapon, so if you use Elect Beam, he will use Elect Beam. If you switch to Mega Buster, he will switch to Mega Buster, and so on and so forth. He's not that tough, again, with the Firestorm. It's it's pretty good. He still does a lot of damage, though. So, that at full health, I lost more than half of my health to him, so it's a pretty dangerous threat. But again, Firestorm's his weakness. Or Elect Beam, if you run out. Or Thunder Bomb, but I wouldn't use Thunder Bomb, because it's not that great. Okay, Wily 3, and... Oh, I got hit, because I was trying to reset my capture there. Because I don't have that, get, that great of capture software going on at the moment to start off with, so at the beginning of every Wily stage, I have to uh, reset it. Which kind of stinks, because uh, I did a, a run-through where I did all this in one go, but um, I had to scrap all of that, which stinks. But, you know, that's why the points are so different than what you saw at the end of part one, if you're even noticing the points at all. If you did, then, you know, that explains the inconsistency, I hope. Anyway, Wily 3, it's, uh, it's really short. We're, we're already done with it. Going through the sewer system of Wily Castle is really, really not that bad. This little section here, you want to shoot the uh, first uh, four or five penguins you see. And then once there's a lull, stop shooting. And jump over the fake not bullet builds because they're bombs and if you blow them up in front of you they're going to do a lot of damage and jump and jump and jump oh, 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 oh. okay there we go okay boss of wily 3 i don't know what it's called i saw the mega man wiki and that's some weird official name that i don't care to re try to repronounce here 
Basically, it's uh, a bunch of generators or engines or turrets in bubbles. And they're gonna shoot at you. And there are seven of them. And they speed up the more you kill. So, for the first three, you wanna use your Mega Buster to take them out. For the last four, you're gonna wanna use the Guts Man blocks and just destroy them. So, four, that's five. Number six is coming up. Boom. And number seven, I almost miss, because he goes so fast. But, you know, not that bad. Use the blocks for the last four, not the first four, because they get faster and faster. And you don't want to be stuck in that smaller room with a very, 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 very fast shooting turret bubble engine thing going all around the room, killing really quick. So, you know. Okay, last level of the game, Wily 4. This is also a pretty short level. I mean, there isn't much build-up to um, to the end. And so it's a little section here and um, a method to get all of our weapon energy that we had to use all of it back at once. Make sure you have plenty of Magna Beam to get that particular item, though. And then that's it. Then we get our boss rematches that I'm not going to talk through. I'm just going to double speed it through. And then we get to take on Dr. Wily and put an end to his reign of terror. So... That's great, why are there so many Gutsmen up there? That's weird. Well, like I said, you're gonna see a lot more than I get on the franchise. Anyway, this section, just use the Magnum Beam. You don't, you, know, you don't want to time that jump or anything. Just use the Magnum Beam, wait for that moving platform to come back, that platform on rails, I guess, whatever. And use the Magnum Beam, get your life, and get that thing. That thing's super important to get. It's a, um, I don't know what it's pronounced, Looks like a screw attack, though, so, you know. It gives all your weapon energy back. Just in time for the boss rematches. So, I'll see you all after I'm done. Okay, we're back. Boss has been taken care of, used our weaknesses, it's all good. I don't have that much health left. That's not good for me. Uh, no. Well, you know what, I could probably take him on. That's fine, I could take him on. Okay. Here we go, Dr. Wily. Mm, blue Bomber's here to save the day. In your red saucer that we're never gonna see again. Okay, there's your Wily machine. Let's do this! Let's- Oh, I'm dead already. No, oh, it stinks. Alright, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, yeah, whatever, it's fine, it's cool. It's cool, nice and calm, stay nice and calm. Got plenty of lives left, and we're gonna totally take them out on this second try. So, let me tell you a little bit about Wily Machine, which is the name of the final boss, the Wily Machine. First phase, you're gonna wanna shoot that uh, pink turret gun thing on the front. Weakness is Firestorm. Just uh, keep opening fire. There you go. And that's that's it. Second phase, Wily reveals himself. His weakness is going to be the Thunder Beam. You're going to want to stand kind of diagonally under the gun that he's shooting at you because his, uh, the shots he's going to shoot are pretty uh, pretty odd. They kind of spin, as, as you're seeing. If you just stand... You know, kind of diagonally, where the gun would normally just shoot at you if it were sh if it were to shoot straight, then the blasts will do no damage to you, and that's that's pretty much it. It's it's not that difficult. This is all he's got, and and boom, we're done. We beat the original Mega Man. Doctor Wily is begging for mercy, and I guess we're gonna give it to him because you know we don't. We don't actually see no rest here. It's, uh, it's a little bit sketchy. Although it opens up room for a far superior sequel, so, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. And yeah, that's it. It's Mega Man 1. <clears throat> Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. Yeah. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. By destructive forces, they mean like Dr. Wily, like many, many more times. 
fight Mega Man for an everlasting peace. They mean Dr. Wily like many, many, many more times because there's, let's see, there's the nine other games and then there's uh, Mega Man Unlimited, which is a fan game, but I count it as a main game. There's the five Game Boy games. There's a Super Adventure Run. Well, I guess he's not taking Mega Man Super Adventure Run, man. The point is, he's in a lot of games. And, I mean, technically, he's in Mega Man X5, kind of. So, yeah. All destructive forces basically means Dr. Wily, like, 20 more times. Whew, man. Well, anyway, that's Mega Man 1. That, that went pretty well. That went pretty good indeed. Well, if you enjoyed this Let's Play, which I hope you did, I hope you found it somewhat informative, hope a little bit informative, then uh, please join me next time as I get through Mega Man 2, the far superior sequel that lays the foundations for what Mega Man will be from that point onward. And there we go, presented by Capcom USA. I own nothing. Yay. Alright. See you all next time. Have a good day.